We also rejoice in our afflictions, by James Michael. We also rejoice in our afflictions, because we know that affliction produces endurance. Endurance produces proven character, and proven character produces hope. Romans five, verses three and four. Man is born to trouble, as the sparks fly upward. Sometimes God kindly sends afflictions to chastise His people for sin, and curb their carnal affections. Yet, at other times, He sends afflictions to exercise and improve their graces. Whatever my affliction is, the wisdom of Him who sends it should make me embrace and bear it without repining. Afflictions do not spring out of the dust, nor come at random. Some of God's favorite ones have, for wise ends, had the severest afflictions. Affliction deadens the pleasures of sense and gives the soul a relish for spiritual things. It divorces the soul from the creature and draws it near to God. Affliction renders the creature tasteless, and the world barren. It dispels the intoxicating juice of carnal pleasures and sensual delights. I should welcome whatever afflictions loosen me from this world and bring me nearer to God.